here we are, alone again. Seemingly saved by Clementine, kind of sacrificing herself. Although we don't see like a demise, it's possible she's still okay, but certainly it was of the impression that it, somebody needs to go. And so she pulled the distraction for us. Pretty wild. Um, we also are close to the end of the discovered memories, which makes me feel like we're close to the end of the game. Let's see. Hope oh, Clementine's all right. Let's fix the subway and get out of here. Yeah. Follow this bad boy. Babu. Single-handedly bringing mass transit back, baby. Shouldn't say single-handedly. I got four feet. And a couple of robots helped. Let's give her. And it's still meow in there. seat. No, literally nowhere. Let's go to the back and get off. Walled City 99, the world's safest city. You don't say. Excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? Helper 477. Not named like the rest. Maybe... Is it possible that because it was walled? They're safe? And none of this happened to them? Where the heck are we supposed to go? Oh. What? It's so sterile. You're sterile? <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. Oh yeah, they're they're different here. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized. It also says I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive. Security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Alright. So somehow we need to get it to register a human. Oh, cool. <laughs> you can see the giant walls all around it. My current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Okay. Gotta find the control room. How may I help you? I'm good, thanks. 
There's one guy by this super locked door. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Great. The control room is locked, guys. Oh, what is. Can these be open? No. What about this side? Huh. So I see something there, but do I have anything I can move? Oh, one of these. With me. Oh, it just slots in very nicely. Thank you. But even that doesn't help? No. Excuse me. And this thing's like locked in place there. Let's try this side again and just see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that'll work. Nailed it. The top secret code. This is the control room from the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. A little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I'll carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Damn. Well, there we go. There's the last one. Probably that main console over there. It's almost like two sets of walls, right? Like there's this inner wall here. I wonder if this group was... Like had more power than the group down below. Probably. Okay, we've got some numbers there. This is at the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one's been here for years. The whole city's stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Long rows of computers need to be turned on. Yeah. Does it matter, like... A is listed first. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so some are on. But just tapping the keyboards is activating them. Got him. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Maybe there's a way around it. There, that's the workstation to open the city, but there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. 
Now we need to do what we do best. I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. I was gonna say, we'll just claw our way through it. This one goes inside there. Here we go. Destroyed. And this one... System's taking more than I expected. Oh, frick. Gotta keep going. Let me get this one that's way out here then, and then we can run into the back in case something comes in. charge once we open up that workstation. Let's hope so. Ah. Uh, I think this little body is done for. It'll be okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. This not the workstation? Oh, no, you know what? It's this one over here. That's it, we're safe. Cool. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. Sorry we won't see the outside together. Everyone's doing it just so I can go. Thought I need to carry on the memories of humanity to try and hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions, in you. Here, let me take that off you. Oh. You're my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. B12. Trusty companion. What's happening? Imagine the city's finally opening and some of that debris from the roof falls and crushes you. Oh, the sun. That makes sense. The 
gun was shooting UV rays, right? Body doesn't define who he was. <laughs> Let's look. The entire thing pulls back. opening? Oh, it does. I thought we might still be stuck. Hey, guys. Uh, don't know if you noticed. You're, you're not even talking. These poor guys don't even get to experience, like, at all what the others got. feel the worst for them. I hope we find our buds. It's funny, I remember at the start we were asking to, to name each of them. I was thinking, oh, well, you know, we'll probably be with them again. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case here, but... The only one that we, uh, that I confirmed a name for was the black one, we're gonna call him Jack. Interesting ending. Weird ending. I didn't think it would... I, I literally didn't think it would end this episode. <laughs> I thought we might have a little bit more there, but... I really enjoyed the game, man. That was um, very calming, super chill. Um, puzzles were, like, pretty straightforward, but... I don't think that was the purpose, you know? The purpose was to replicate a cat really well and that they nailed in my opinion and you kind of see like you know some of the uh topical nods that are very relevant to our current societal situation and i think they address that fairly well I kind of wish that the the writing from the like what the characters were saying was a little bit better. It felt <laughs> it felt robotic, but like maybe that was the intention cuz they're robots, but like you know what I mean? It just felt a little bit too uh sparse almost. I think it was just trying to keep things simple and really accessible for literally anybody to kind of pick up and play and get the gist of of what was going on. Uh, the environments were really cool. I really appreciated that one section we got to the the city area. And uh, we had to go and steal the different clothes. That was kind of the coolest puzzle element, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like I kind of want to know if 
if we meet up with our cat buddies. I'm hoping that there's something at the end here. Otherwise, like, maybe, maybe it's like a, you know, you could go, like, straight to or something like that. I, th I think the length of the game was great, too. Because unless you were going to do something with a, a, a mechanic that was so different than just being a cat and really nailing that, I feel like this was a really good uh, chunk of time where it never got never got boring, it didn't get repetitive. And I feel like if you were to, you know, double the length of this game, you might feel that a little bit. Uh, we did miss a few of the memories, so there's probably, you know, maybe an extra 20 minutes worth of content there. Uh, the only one I can think of that I know we missed was that guy with his keys, and I couldn't figure out how to get down below where he was pointing. So I'd be curious to see what that entailed. But uh, other than that, yeah, super enjoyed. Let's just see what happens at the end of these credits here. Come on, give me, just give me a little, just show me my buds. Let's see if they're okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't. Hmm. Okay. Very, very, very curious. So, I'm guessing that 23 out of 27 is like the memories. The memory slots. In terms of completion. Uh, must be. Also, I don't know if there's... Maybe maybe there's different endings or something if you get all of the memories. Could that be? That would be interesting to know. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, this was super just chill and very relaxing. And I <laughs> almost didn't want to do any commentary on it. But then it's like, you know, what's the point of making a video? Um, yeah, really just had such a good vibe to it. And now I just want to play a, a stray dog game. <laughs> It just reskin it. If somebody could mod this with like a dog skin, uh, I would play it again. That would be great. Just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you had a good time, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the ride that was Stray. Don't know what the next game is going to be, but whatever it is, we'll see you there. Really appreciate you guys, and talk to you soon. Bye.